hello guys welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel please subscribe to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today's video we are shooting a content in lesotho okay guys but before we get there can we please take a moment to enjoy the views because these views are definitely to die for i hope you like it please don't forget to share like the video and comment in the comment section below Hi guys, um, <laughs> I'm on my way to Muela Dam, so I don't know how safe it is for me to go there all by myself, especially at this time. Ooh, and we are, I'm on a gravel road. Mm -hmm. Things we do. And if you don't know anything about Muela, I'll tell you a bit about it in a short while. I think right now what I need to do is I need to concentrate on driving because. <laughs> Hello guys, I am trying to find, um, I'm looking for Muela Dam. I am in Muela but I don't know where it is. I asked some kids for directions and they told me to come this side but I don't see a dam anywhere and I don't know how to this is for me and I'm sort of panicking, I don't know what to do because I don't know how safe this place is it's because it's in the middle of nowhere as you can see, you can't see anyone I'm literally the only person that I see around here <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, I'm, I'm really scared let me just go because I don't know yeah so we finally arrived at our destination because we can definitely spot the dam from afar but so this um this dam is called muela dam it's part of lesotho islands project it was opened in 1999 it's a multi-million project between south africa and lesotho yeah apparently people actually say it's one of the successful stories that ever came out of south africa not africa not south africa africa in general yeah <laughs> So apparently billions of cubic liters of water is transferred through these tunnels that you see in front of you. So apparently this happens on a daily basis. So what happens is that like you see the water that you see right here. This is a collection of water from different dams in Lesotho. For instance, some of the water comes from Mohali Dam and Katsi Dam and some other dams in Lesotho. So what they do is that they all transfer water from these dams to this area. There's a hydro power station here in Muela. I'll show you a picture a bit later. So what they do is before they transfer, they transfer this water to South Africa, this water is used to generate electricity for Lesotho and its needs. And the funny thing is apparently they say the electricity generated here is more than half of Lesotho's needs. But the question is if you know Lesotho and you've been to Lesotho, you know that there's quite a number of people who still don't have electricity in their homes. I mean like it doesn't make sense because not everybody has access to electricity in Lesotho, but apparently they're saying that Right now, there's a new project. They're trying to build a second hydro station, hydro power station or something, so that they can generate more electricity for Lesotho and its needs. So I don't know how that works. I'm not really good with this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you where South Africa gets water from. But and this place is so beautiful, guys. Like, I mean, like, I can't get over it. It's really beautiful. So oh here guys i tried to shoot a video up here but uh the audio was audible the audio was horrible what i wanted to say was to tell you guys that if you're from south africa just know that this area right here this is where you get water your water from if you are in Gauteng, that is because i believe that this water goes to Gauteng. so the sad thing about this whole project, even it's a good thing for Basotho and it's also a good thing for South Africans. But honestly, if you were to go to villages around here, they don't have access to running water. I mean, like people, 
staying in this neighborhood not just at Muela like not just at Muela even people who stay next to Katsi Dam or Mohali they don't have many of them they don't have access to running water but here I mean in South Africa people have access to running water so the question is who's really enjoying this whose water is it we know it comes from Lesotho but whose water is it is it South African water uh, or is it Lesotho water because people who are enjoying the full benefits of this water are not people who stay around here hmm I don't know anyway I don't want to talk about politics I just want to talk about the good news just know guys that you get your water from here I'm not gonna get in trouble for doing this but yeah I'm standing on top of the water I don't know if you guys can see of course you can see I mean there's water this side so I'm working on top of the time you know I am scared but we are doing it anyway yeah but this is it guys this is where they prepare water I mean, this is where they collect all the water from Lesotho to transport to South Africa. And I believe that right now Lesotho also gives Botswana water. So I guess uh, the same process happens. Even the water that goes to Botswana, it passes through this side. <laughs> so I wanted to come here. This is the thing that I wanted to show you guys. Lesotho Highlands Water Project, Mwela I'm walking on top of the dam. <laughs> yeah. I made it. I have to sneak out of here. But I'm so glad that I managed to come here. I just want to show you something. I don't know what this is called in English, but in Susutu it's called Coco. So here in Lesotho we eat this. So I'm just going to grab some. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm gonna crave some and eat this. So you don't only have to come to Muela to just check the dam. You can pretty much come here and just come and have a picnic with your family or your friends. You can come with your food beer or anything you want to come enjoy with your family so you can just go view the dam and then when you're done and just chill and enjoy nature in this beautiful area oh guys what i was saying is this look if you come here you can pretty much come here and have a picnic with your friends this place is lovely so you have this place where you can pretty much braai your meat you find this here don't worry about bringing your braai stains and whatnots like oh or barbecue stains whatever you call it whether you call it braai or barbecue yeah what's important is that you don't need to come with anything you're gonna find this here they're gonna provide it to you and this area you can pretty much like remember guys this place is clean you, we don't want people who come here to litter so this one is just a dustbin whatever that you use remember to put them here and don't throw things all over the place so we're gonna check this one is just in the open space so we're gonna check the one that's under the fetch under lapa i believe that this is called lapa let's go check it out guys right here oh sorry this right here is another um place where you can cook and prepare your food or fry your meat so if you want to be under a shade this is a place for you yeah and this one here you see they have different types of um like braai stands this one is big i guess this one is for people who have lots of meat or who actually come in large groups so you don't have to worry about you know having to braai meat in sessions you can pretty much put all your meat here and this place will cater for that and the dustbin is still here so this right here you see under the thing you don't have to worry about sitting place you can please you can come with your camp chair but you can pretty much sit here as well here and you can sit here and enjoy nature so i don't know what this is i want to show you guys this what is this oh this one is a dustbin so what is that oh 
Oh, you see, I'm telling people wrong information. Oh, it's fine. I'll edit it. So I'm sorry, guys. I think earlier on I said this place is useful, like as, as a dustbin. No, you put your firewood there when you're still braying your meat or you're cooking your food here, and then you bray here. And as for dustbin, this right here is a dustbin, guys. So you need to use this when you are done and throw your rubbish in here. Here. And the toilets are over there and i am late i have to go back oh i love the sun this is beautiful african sun baby african sun so guys i think i've showed you enough so i think this is gonna be a wrap for me guys thank you guys for watching i hope you subscribe like the video and comment i'll check on you guys guys don't forget to check this place out please especially like christmas is coming you need to come here i mean you're only gonna pay 20 rands like 20 rands guys and they give you price tent and uh firewood that's pretty much it you just have to come with your alcohol have fun and enjoy the beautiful dam and enjoy the beautiful environment the mountains and everything basically you just come here to soak in nature and yeah oh as you can see look at my look at my face i am listening this is beautiful this is good guys anyway check on you guys later bye hey, like honestly i really don't know what to say how beautiful is this place how clean is this place i mean people who get to wake up every day to this this must be a blessing this place is beautiful like i don't know what to say guys <laughs> that's very beautiful i'm glad i came hello abuti i am enjoying mother nature baby mother nature look at this moela dam right behind me beautiful mountains right behind me and yeah this is beautiful nothing this this and it's not hot the weather is just right it's cool i'm enjoying the breeze <laughs> If my hair was wavy, you're probably going to see wind doing its thing with my hair. But I have a kinky and listen, we're Africans. We don't do that. Yeah. That's it, guys.